Sticks and stones. Hello, hello. How was it going? I got you a gameplay today using the crossbow, ballistic knife, and the good old tomahawk. That can only mean one thing, it is a bit of sticks and stones gameplay on Black Ops. Now, it's been a while since I've played any kind of, you know, wager match gameplay, and I think at the time I was just kind of messing around with my friend, we were just doing a bit of high roller, just, you know, taking it in turns. And I just happened to get this gameplay, which is probably one of the better high roller matches I've ever got, so I thought it was pretty cool. But the reason I'm doing this commentary today is it's going to be a little topical commentary explaining the reasoning as to where I've been for the past few days or so. So for anyone who didn't see my tweet, or at least the little vlog I put up yesterday, I've been at Reading Festival for the past few days, and if you're wondering why my voice sounds a little bit dead, it is because it is a little bit dead. <laughs> and there's always a weird kind of thing with these kind of events where as you're doing the thing, whatever it is, your body sort of runs on borrowed energy, if that makes any sense. Like, I felt absolutely fine. Really high energy, really, you know, my voice is fine, whatever. Even though I was getting, what, three hours sleep a night probably, and definitely was not, you know, eating or drinking healthily or whatever, but... I guess your body sort of runs on borrowed energy because as soon as you get back home into the comforts of you know, everyday life. Your body just sort of goes, ah, 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 you've got a debt to repay to me, remember? Oh yeah, I remember. So you spend the next couple of days sort of just eating, sleeping, and resting, pretty much. <laughs> Which is what I've been doing, really, but... Yeah, that'll explain my voice being a little bit dead at the moment, but... Hopefully should be back to normal fairly soon. Now, I'd say to anyone, if you're looking to... Like, if you've considered going to a festival before, but you've never actually gone through with it, or you know, you can't really decide which one to go to or whatever. Honestly, I don't know which is the best one to go to. I've only been to this one this year and best of all, which is on the Isle of Wight last year. But honestly, any opportunity you get, as long as you can afford it, obviously, and you've got people to go with, I'd say go for it. It was a really great experience and I actually went with a couple of friends who I've known since I was probably about five years old. So you know, 15 years, pretty long-term friends. And I don't get to see them all that often because they go to a different university and I guess the only time we get to meet up is during Christmas and Easter, those kind of times of year, when everyone's back home pretty much. But I'd say, honestly, do not lose contact with your old school friends, even if it's just the occasional meet up at the pub or a little gaming session, whatever. Just keep in contact with them because they're good guys, you don't want to lose your close friends from you know years ago at school. And yeah, overall, Reading Festival, just a really good time. I mean, the bands that were playing were... You had a pretty good mixture of bands. You had Florence and the Machine, Kasabian, you had Foo Fighters, the Black Keys, all kinds of different bands. I don't know how many we saw in the end, but it was a pretty good mix. And, you know, I've put up... I'm going to probably put up a few pictures on my Twitter page of just random bands and whatnot, so... If you want to follow me on Twitter, just look at the link in the video description or on my channel, whatever. It's just the same as my YouTube name, but yeah, I'm going to put up some pictures fairly soon. And just overall, it was a really great experience. Honestly, some of the bands, it was just absolutely crazy. I mean, Foo Fighters were kind of the closing main headliner act. And on the Sunday night, basically everyone was in the crowd getting a good place for them. I can't remember who was playing beforehand. Maybe Kaiser Chiefs or the Black Keys, not exactly sure, but everyone was trying to push to the front to try and get a good place for Kaiser Chiefs, not Kaiser Chiefs, Foo Fighters, and as soon as they came on, there was a huge uproar in the crowd. Everyone was, in a good way, a good uproar. Everyone was, you know, going mental. I couldn't really get any pictures with the camera because everyone was, you know, bashing each other around and whatnot, but that is what it's all about. That is the experience, my friends. That is good. And by the way, so many good looking gingers in the lineup. You had Florence, you had Hayley Williams from Paramore, they were pretty good. And of course Lucy Rose who supported Bombay Bicycle Club. Really good in general, like my idea of heaven pretty much. But overall the grand kind of message I'm trying to convey is go for it. If you have the opportunity, definitely try and get to some kind of festival in the future. If you have the time, the money, whatever, I'd say go for it. 
And you know, ones I can recommend, I can definitely recommend Bestival or Reading Festival, Leeds. I think they're the same thing, like the same lineup, but don't quote me on that. But any you can get to, I'd say give it a go. Definitely do recommend it. But that was the game. I am definitely in the money there. Probably my first ever Sticks and Stones high roll of victory. Hope you guys enjoyed, and with that being said, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.